there are a lot of methods to solve these questions. Uh, since here, if the option is given, then probably one of the ways that you can work out with the help of the option so. But I'm going to discuss the method. Uh, uh, if the even if the option is not given to you, then how to solve such type of the questions here. So let's start here. Now. In this case, you can see this is nothing but that is root of 4 plus here the signs are changing the alternately. Okay, root 4 plus minus plus minus and so on. Okay, so what I will do here is let us assume y is equal to root of 4 minus root 4 plus root 4 minus and so on plus till infinity. Okay, now in this case, so this implies what basically that x is equal to nothing but that is equal to root 4 plus y. Remember, I have taken only this term as entire thing as y. Alright, and also at the same time, also at the same time, you can observe from here that y is equal to nothing but that is equal to basically root 4 minus x. Because starting from root 4 plus root 4 minus, if I am starting from plus sign as you can see it here, okay, if I am starting from the plus sign, so it is x here. So we know for sure x is equal to root 4 plus y and y is equal to root 4 minus x. So take the square. If I take a square here, I will get x square is equal to 4 plus y. Okay. And from here, I will get this y square is equal to nothing but that is equal to 4 minus x here. Alright. So y square is equal to 4 minus x and x square is equal to 4 minus y. Now, this is one equation. And then there is another equation. Take a difference between these two equations. So if I subtract these two equations, what will I get here? By subtracting these two equations, I'll get basically that is x square minus y square is equal to 4 plus y, okay, minus 4 minus x here. So from here, I'll get that is nothing but x minus y into x plus y, which is equal to 4 and 4 will get cancelled. And I'll get that is equal to y plus x. So this implies that x minus y is equal to 1. So we have got x minus y is equal to 1. Here we need to find out the value of x. So if I need to find out the value of x, substitute the value of y from here to this particular equation. So what will I get here? Let me change the color of the marker first of all. So I can substitute the values of y from here to here. So I'll get the equation which will be comes out to be x square is equal to 4 plus y. y is equal to nothing but that is basically x minus 1. So I can say x minus 1. So this implies that the value of x square is equal to how much? That is 3 plus x. So this implies that x square minus x minus 3 is equal to 0. It's a quadratic equation. So this implies that x is equal to minus b. Okay, that is minus of minus 1 plus minus root of b square minus 4ac minus 1 ka whole square minus 4ac. So minus 4 into a is 1 and c is minus 3 upon 2a that is 2. So from here I will get the value of x is equal to 1 plus minus that is this value under the square root sign that will be comes out to be 13 by 2. So this implies that the value of x is equal to nothing but that is equal to 1 plus root 13 by 2. We need to neglect minus sign because x has to be positive remember Take care, the square root of any term is always positive. So this x is basically greater than 0. So since x has to be greater than 0, so that's why there is only one possible answer. So this will be our final answer. I hope that it is clear to you now. So the correct answer is of course this one. So I can write down this is the answer.